Whatever. Hello! Or whatever. The DJ to go. Compact. Loose terms. USB DJ controller. And you could be a DJ anywhere with the most portable DJ controller in the world. It includes DJ software, the Virtual DJ Limited Edition Lite. That just sounds like a limited version of a limited version. That's giving me a lot of um, <laughs> props for its quality. Let's see, what's on the back of this? Everything you need to DJ with your computer, with the genuine DJ controls including a crossfader and pitch, cue and sync controls. Not fake. Uh, DJ controls. These are genuine DJ controls. Rapid search and track selection, no mouse required. But you're plugging this into a computer. Like, most computers need a mouse to work. As you can tell. I mean, could you tell that no one wanted this? And because they lovingly packed it. Anyway, I think it is time for us to open this package. Oh, never mind. It's I'd like to be able to show you what I'm doing, but right now, as you might have guessed, it's actually really difficult. Okay, the package is opened. Out of... Ah, ooh. There we are. This box can now go somewhere else. Cool. Ooh, we've got, ooh, we've got a, it appears to be an instruction manual. Ooh, it's a DJ cable manual. Oh, wait. This is the manual for the cable? How much is it? I well, suppose the manual for the rest of them the thing. Oh no, it requires you connecting up to an iPad. Okay, we're gonna look at that in a moment. Oh, I, hope, I hope it has a, a headphone jack. But, um, oh, yeah, USB cable, it's mini, yay. And, oh no, please read before returning product. Gone, right. Here it is. Is it all weights in it or something? Oh my God. Caution, risk of electric shock. Shock hazard, how? How is this, how can this be a shock hazard? Wait, it didn't actually come with the, it didn't come with the seed. Oh no. So, to say this is janky would be an understatement. There it is. Oh, it's been in the software and it's last litter, ooh. Okay, so, oh. Okay, so it appears to do stuff. Problem is, I actually can't, you can't hear anything, any of the music I'm playing right now. Okay, oh, this device will require a virtual DJ Pro license. I hope I can still use this. Whatever. So, as you can tell, as you can tell, it appears to be doing something. So if I move this up, oh, okay. So we, so this appears to, oh, okay. So this appears to, Shorten or lengthen the song. Uh, this, yeah, thought so. I can properly, I can move stuff around and stuff. So it appears to be that the pitch bend buttons don't pi um, do that music that is just added by the software, which is cool. So I guess I can use this to use this to load. Oh wow! There we are. Oh, that's cool. So I can just, you can just scroll through your music and do that. So that's kind of cool. So we've got these buttons that say Q and they're flashing. I don't know what they do. Oh, so you can, you can make it so you can just play, but then return it to the start, I guess? I honestly still don't know. So I have the play pause button. Yep, which allows me to play pause. Cool. Okay, <laughs> so I guess if I have a piece of music playing, yeah, and I'm not messing around with it, if I go to, let's just find that, and I press load A, it works! <laughs> yeah, so there it is, It. this is what it looks like when it's working, and I mean, this software ain't bad. It does, and it does seem to actually work if you, without paying, thank goodness. But yeah, you can just give me a bit because, because this, oh, what does this button, what does this button do? 
Okay, I need to stop. This is just <laughs> actually kind of fun, just messing around with the music as it plays. But, yeah. Okay. Well, that is... Um, okay, back, back, back to the schedule part of <laughs> to this video. And I think it's time to completely disprove this risk of electric shock. Where's the screwdriver? Okay, I've returned. Probably with a actual decent screwdriver this time around. There we are. Oh wow, wow, that's something. Oh. Uh, oh, there go, there go, there go those. Like, I did not expect it to be this. I expected it to be sort of like just randomly wired and up in the middle. Like, there would be loads of wired links, but it's been this massive printed circuit board. And, oh god, and there it is. The ion. Weird. It's got loads of resistors. I, I really expected this to be like some tiny board and then loads of wires connecting this stuff up. Because I thought maybe I could link this up to um, evidently not. Yeah. Okay, so this thing is not what I expected. Apparently, whoever, de whoever designed this thing, which I'm not even sure at this point, decided that 18 screws. I would have said that maybe four or eight would have been a, de would have been a fine number, but nope, to go it had to go all the way. Must have, must, these guys must have had experience installing um, MacBook keyboards before. Yeah, peculiar. This was I even thought I could just like link this up to a Raspberry Pi and have do it, just use it as a media controller. But obviously not, because this doesn't even, it doesn't even, it can't even be, everything's been massively soldered in place onto this big PCB, which is I've not seen before. I've just, no, this is much higher quality than I expected. That's what you always expected. Right. Okay, I need to, first of all. Thanks for watching. This has been a weird experience. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to do this. So yeah, if you want to watch, watch this one at Touch Watch. That was much better than this. I actually had something to do with it. Cool. I will see you at some point in the future. Bye.